Welcome to another installment of Advancing the Common Good with United Way of the Lewis and Clark area. I'm Dana Frady and I'm the Director of Development and Marketing for United Way here in Helena. So one thing that our community is really faced with is a, short, uh, a shortage of, uh, of housing, especially affordable housing, and homelessness. Those are big issues in our community, and I'm really, really excited to welcome a very special guest today to talk to us just a little bit about what we do to really remember and honor folks who have lost their lives in homelessness over the course of the year. So with me today is Kylie Gage, and Kylie is the Interim Executive Director for Helena YWCA. Yes, thank you for having me. Appreciate well, it. <laughs> thanks for making time. I know you're really busy right now. It's all good. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, the YWCA organizes the Longest Night, which is a, an annual memorial for folks who have lost their lives in homelessness every year. So can you tell me just a little bit about it and, and why it's important for our community? Sure. Um, so every year over the winter solstice, we get together um, to pay homage to people that have lost their lives um, to homelessness. Um, but not just from exposure necessarily, but also that that's what their life has been like. And so particularly, we don't want anybody to be forgotten in their lives. Um, we choose to uh, remember these people on the longest night of the year so that we can really um, think about you know, how hard it is though to live as a homeless person, especially in Montana. Um, so we get together um, outside and it's been a women's park for the past few years um, together so that we can uh, talk about the people that um, have passed away and also we don't want them to be forgotten. We want them to uh, you know, have some sort of a memorial because uh, when you're homeless or transient you may not have a connection to your family anymore, and uh, we just wanna make sure that those people are remembered. Um, everybody in this community matters, um, and so we make it a point, though, the governor has come out um, every year since he's been in office um, to participate in the memorial, and we're so grateful for that. Um, the uh, former mayor, Jim Smith, has come out every year, and he sang for us one year. It was really beautiful. And um, we've had all sorts of support from the community, United Way, um, uh, just everybody that's, you know, it, it makes a, a big difference though because even people that are homeless attend the, the ceremony as well and it's good for them to see, hey, this community cares about us. Um, we don't need to be separated um, from other people just because of our housing situation. So, you know, it's, it definitely is good to remember those people but also for the community to see, hey, we're all in this together and we're all, we need to be responsible for one another and take care of each other. That's really beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you have done just a, a really beautiful job of organizing this event for the last three years you've three been years. at the YWCA. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so I, I have to say it's, it's actually, um, it's a very somber event, mm -hmm. um, you know, because I've, I've been, as long as I've been at United Way, I've been attending and I, I just think it's such a beautiful, beautiful testament to to how much people in our community do care yeah. and it's it's a really really wonderful way to remember folks yeah yeah it's it it's definitely very somber um it's really difficult when you hear people's names we recite um everybody's names of the people that have passed away in uh, lewis and clark county um that were homeless or transient and uh you know working in the capacity that i do um at, YW, at ywca you get to know people and um, you know you get to know what they're like and and you know what they care about and then when you have to when you hear about people passing away though it's hard it's really hard but it's good though that there's people there that are going to remember them and be able to tell stories about you know where they came from and um, what they loved and what they were excited about things like that because everybody in this community matters everybody Right, yeah. right. So we were talking a little bit about um, why it's held on the longest night of the year, mm -hmm. on the winter solstice, mm -hmm. but um, in addition to the weather and conditions, what are, what are some of the big factors and issues that face people who are homeless? What are their biggest obstacles? Um, I would definitely say that uh, mental illness and addiction are the two primary things. Um, it is very difficult, as most people know, to get housing in this community as it is. It is incredibly expensive, um, but then when you are also um, impoverished and um, trying to 
uh, battle a mental illness or an addiction, it is that much more difficult. And um, one of the things that, you know, I think that we have a hard time in this community is understanding how to work with people that are going through those things um, because we, we can't just shove people away. That's not, um, you know, that's not the right or humane thing to do. We need to be inclusive and, and try and get people to understand what it is that they're going through so that we can figure out how to help everybody. Um, and so I think that there's a big disconnect though between um, people who see somebody that's mentally ill out on the streets and they're scared of them. And uh, that's not necessarily something that they should be scared of. It's, it's what they're going through. And so um, those two things, it can be difficult for people to get resources or get connected to the right people um, because some folks don't wanna maybe help help people out. Um, maybe they think that they're, you know, in a situation because of their own doing. And, um, you know, I've seen 100% of the time that when people are going through problems like that, it is things that have happened in their lives that uh, none of us are immune to. Every person that I know has been affected somehow by mental illness and or addiction. And we need to come together and support those people um, to start working on this problem of homelessness here in this community. Sure, yeah. absolutely. So, um, especially within the scope of the work of, of the YWCA, what are some ways that members of our community who are, are watching this clip mm -hmm. can go ahead and get involved to help support the folks who might need help finding housing or or getting involved with the YWCA programs. Yes, definitely. Um, so United Way has been wonderful leading the way on um, trying to help with uh, the homelessness issue here in Helena. Um, they've been taking up a by name um, list to help people um, figure out housing. So that can be um, through pr a program like at the YWCA, it can be um, through connecting those people with um, Habitat for Humanity so they can start to work on building a house and potentially buying a home. Um, and so I would definitely encourage them to contact United Way to get in, um, on that by name list if they're needing housing, but also if they're wanting to help out with that. Um, I think that another good way that people can support that is that when initiatives come up to um, build affordable housing for people, you've got to get out there and say, I support this, you know, where can I put my name on this? Write a letter to the editor um, of the newspaper, do whatever you can to voice your support because, um, you know, it is an uphill battle in this town and everybody seems to be on board for it, but we've got to be more vocal about it and, uh, and really be pushing to get um, more housing in this community that is safe and affordable for people and not, um, you know, you know, a, a different level of quality for other people. It shouldn't be like that. Everybody should have safe, affordable housing in this community. Great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it, thank you so much for, for taking time to join me today. I mean, this has been really enlightening and, and I love hearing about The Longest Night from your perspective, especially mm -hmm. as a person who has interacted so much with, with the community that is impacted mm -hmm. by it. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And I'm so excited to hear that you're the interim over at the YWCA. Okay. I think that you will mm -hmm. do the job justice. <laughs> thank you, appreciate so. that. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us for another installment of Advancing the Common Good. If you have more questions about the work done by the YWCA, you can call over there at, what's your phone number? 442-8774. All right. And if you have more questions about the housing efforts done by United Way of the Lewis and Clark area, please do call us at 442-4360. We hope that your 2019 is off to a great start, and we can't wait to partner with you to make even more positive changes happen in this year.